Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Technics Media. Today we are going to tell you about the latest Android version, which is 4.2 Jelly Bean, which has been pushed out to the Galaxy, uh, to the Nexus devices from Google, and uh, Nexus 7, which we have, has actually got this update. Let me first of all show you the version number of Android. So if you go under settings. The settings here in the about tablet we can find the version number so as you can see the version number is 4.2 which is jelly bean okay so today we uh, we are going to tell you in this video the new fe features and the new the new feature which we have got in this update uh, the first thing which we have noticed is the lock screen uh, which has been changed. We have actually used the Nexus 7 after the update. So we have optimized the look and feel of the lock screen using the new feature which has uh, been released. First of all, the thing is you now have multiple users uh, which you can configure on your Android devices including Nexus 7, Galaxy Nexus and other devices and you have different user which will have different lock screen. So I have basically right now configured two users one is me over here and another one is this one so if you switch in between users you will have a different lock screen you will have different applications and all these applications will vary per user so each and every user will have different application by default when you configure a new user account on nexus 7 running android 4.2 you will have the default applications which are which come pre-installed on nexus devices which are these Google applications which you can see uh, apart from this another thing which we have noticed is the lock screen now have a clock so you can actually display a analog as well as a digital clock on the lock screen which you can see right here and you can also display time from different time zones uh, from different countries as you can see uh, we have the time which is right now this is the local daily time which we have over here and this is the Los Angeles time and the New York time as well as you can also go through time of other countries and other zones as you can see so you can con configure as much time uh, zones you want to using the clock application and they will straight away appear on your lock screen but in order to make them appear on your lock screen you have to first of all tap here and then it will go to the widget mode on the lock screen you will need to unlock the device first of all uh, let me just show you how you can actually add the lock screen widget so these are the lock screen widgets which you can configure at a time only one of the lock screen widget will appear on the lock screen and you can go through them like this you can have the latest calendar app uh, appointments uh, from google calendar they will straight away display on your lock screen you you also have a gmail widget which will display the emails which you are getting on the lock screen and then you can add other widgets which are these uh, you can either add a calendar a digital clock gmail as well as sound search right now uh, maybe you can install some other third party application from google play store to actually add more widgets but these are the default widgets which comes uh, in 4.2 on the lock screen apart from this you also have got a new clock this is how the new clock looks like and these are the other time zones which we have configured you can always go into locations to actually select the cities from which from uh, from where uh, basically you want to see the time or uh, what is the time exactly in that particular city in that particular country you have an alphabetical list you cannot add a new city or a country uh, basically as per a new time zone but you have to actually select in between these only in case you want to add a time from a specific country you can always go to the settings from here clock settings and under settings you can actually define the home time zone this is the home time zone which you can define apart from this you also have an automatic home clock which will uh, be displayed on your lock screen whenever you are traveling in a different area uh, so let us suppose that you live in Delhi and you go to Los Angeles and you are traveling at that time it will display the clock of Delhi uh, on your lock screen at that time so that you actually get an idea what is the time actually in your country when you are traveling out of your country 
Apart from this, you can also change the style of the lock screen from digital to analog. And you have the alarm volume, the volume buttons. You have the option to silence an alarm in case you uh, make an alarm with this particular lock screen. Apart from this, you have the alarms over here. You can add multiple alarms now, which can auto repeat on specific days as you want to as you want them to and another thing you can also go to settings from here and you can also go to the night mode uh, in which the tablet will go to sleep mode and it will display the time on the home screen of the tablet and it will remain like this only so that you actually get an idea what is the time in case you are not using the tablet and when you are going to sleep or going to bed basically apart from this you do have some other changes which is uh, this new timer which you can actually uh, configure on your uh, nexus devices with android 4.2 and you do have a, a lap timer uh, which allows you to actually uh, count the time of a particular lap in case you are using the tablet uh, in any uh, for tracking any kind of sports activity or tracking the time when you are jogging or anything like that apart from this you do have some other changes um, the keyboard gesture typing so let me just show you that uh, so now we are going to type and let us suppose that we want to type Technics media so now you have the gesture typing enabled and supported on the nexus devices with 4.2 So this is how you can actually type as you can see it has so using the gesture typing you actually can type a lot more faster as compared to the previous version of android on the nexus devices and this feature is quite good uh, when it comes to typing uh, very fast you can and the feature works pretty well uh, have another uh, new kind of screen saver which has been added to the nexus 7 uh, tablet that is which is called daydream so basically in order to configure daydream you need to go into settings and then you need to go into display and here you have daydream so under daydream you actually can display a clock on your nexus 7 tablet or any other android tablet which is running 4.2 uh, you have the bean finger which is the default uh, uh, jelly bean kind of uh, wallpaper which you can configure in which the jelly bean will keep appearing on your lock screen and then you have colors in which it will display different colors on your uh, nexus 7 tablet uh, then you have photo frame in which the nexus 7 tablet will display all the photos uh, from your